everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and uh, welcome back to the Once Upon a Time After Show. Now, this is an after show, so I'm talking about Season 5, Episode 3 of Once Upon a Time, and it will have spoilers. So if you haven't seen the episode, I don't suggest watching this now, but come back after you've seen it. So in this episode, uh, Regina and the team and the flashbacks to Camelot come up with this plan that um, even though they can't free Merlin from the tree yet, they have an idea to get this certain mushroom that grows in the swamp and then maybe they can talk to Merlin through that. So then Prince Charming and King Arthur go on a quest to get that mushroom. Okay, my hey Max here. My opinion: This is my favorite episode of the season. Seeing a lot of Arthur and Prince Charming together. Mm -hmm. They seem to be very similar in that they're like uh, both not royally born, and they seem like good pals by the end of the flashback with the trying to get the mushroom. And Charming gets attacked by all these phantom knights, and Arthur saves him from drowning. I'm a little, I, I'm happy because I was really liking the Arthur actor too. Mm -hmm. um, I don't mean to jump too much ahead in the episode, but it's a little disappointing because of the, the ending uh, that he ends up being bad. But I was really enjoying Arthur. He was becoming one of my favorites. I'm new to the series. Yeah. I really liked this. I like the actor. Mm -hmm. Well, so, it's not totally unexpected because once upon a time, the big thing is there's like always a twist. It's never what you think it's going to be and through um, flashbacks with Camelot in this episode uh, Lancelot for one shows up and warns Mary Margaret and or Snow White that uh, King Arthur is not all that he seems and Camelot's not it seems that Arthur is actually like a villain maybe in the future he'll be a good guy again who <laughs> it seems like they, it's possible mm -hmm. um, there were some really cool scenes in here. Mm -hmm. I really liked the swamp scene with the, I think they're called the Phantom Knights. I, yeah. I thought that was a cool scene. And the jousting scene. Oh yeah, there's a part in this episode where uh, in Storybrooke, Prince Charming thinks it's a good idea to like have King Arthur driving a truck at high speeds, which this would probably be the first time ever that King Arthur has driven a car. And then Charming's on the back and he has like this two by four. Two by four and they're trying to catch this thief. Um, and it's basically like a jousting scene and they and Charming knocks the the thief off his horse with the two by four. But realistically I don't think they would happen like that. I think they'd probably crash because King Arthur is driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Prince Charming flying with the two by four in there would be more likely. Yeah. I mean, it was a fun scene. Yeah, it was funny. It, it's obvious that's what they're going for, jousting. Yeah. Um, I I prefer the stuff in Camelot more than Storybrook. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a more I think more in Camelot this episode. Yeah. Flashbacks. Uh, there's also some scenes with. Emma and Hook on, I think it's on his boat. Yep, it's on his ship. And she ends up taking his sword because um, at the end of this episode, she uses the sword to heal Mr. Gold and he wakes up from his coma. And we learn that Emma's going to turn Mr. Gold into a hero. Oh, and thank you guys that are commenting in the comments on this mm -hmm. after show. Uh, most of the last episode was talking about the pan yeah um there was one episode one comment about the episode chase wants to know do you think emma will be good again i've actually been thinking a lot about this and i can foresee this this season wrapping up like either two ways either emma is more in control of the darkness or um, what I think more likely is that they're going to have Mr. Gold going back to being uh, the Dark One, Rumpelstiltskin, because I find his character a lot more interesting when he's like the Dark One, Rumpelstiltskin, 
Uh, Mr. Gold, like, on his own is kind of, like, feeble and, um, it's just, I, on a whole, when he, when he's, like, kind of, you know, trickster and stuff like that, I find him a lot more interesting, so. Oh, and the other thing that could possibly happen is that they reunite Excalibur and instead of Emma using it to kill the light, the light magic, she uses it to kill the dark. So, I don't know. I think that she probably will go back to not being the dark one. I don't know how. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion on that. I'm on board with your theory about Emma having more control of the dark power, mm -hmm. if that's what you call it, after this episode. Because maybe her erasing everyone's memory at the beginning of the season was for a purpose mm -hmm. based on now that we know Arthur has bad motives, maybe there's a reason for it. That they don't remember everything that she took them all back with and racing their memories. Well, at this point we don't have solid proof that it was actually Emma who did it. Oh, that's true too, yeah. Maybe they figured out what Arthur was up to and he was the one that did it. Yeah. This is... So we'll just have to wait and see how the season goes. Oh, uh, Lancelot, what did you think of him? They, they hinted... Like, I don't remember him specifically from the episode before, but I think he has had to be in, like, older episodes because they said that Charming and Snow White has met him before, and they thought he was dead. So she, Snow White was, like, really surprised when he showed up, um, being all, like, in the shadows, doesn't want anybody to see him. So... I don't remember him from... Oh, wait, maybe... Maybe, uh, I kind of remember, I don't know, I don't know, I think- She has watched every episode, but she's a little forgetful. There's a lot of seasons, and there's a lot of characters that have come and gone, so if you're a character that's only been in a few episodes, I might not remember, okay? <laughs> but comment below if you remember, and tell us what episode so we can ref refresh our memory. I think it's the last time that, like, they got transported to the forest, and there's trolls, and he was, like, captain of a garrison or something. I don't know, but, yeah. Uh, were you got if you did watch the episode, what did you think of the Arthur twist? Did you see it? I didn't see it coming. I didn't. I was a little shocked by that. Mm -hmm. But I'm a, new I'm a newcomer to Once Upon a Time, too, though. Yeah. I didn't foresee it really, but I'm not surprised either after so many seasons of Once Upon a Time. Kind of just learned to roll with the twists, <laughs> roll with the punches. Um, maybe just throwing this question out there on the fly to have a question in this episode. Uh, do you think Dark Emma was behind the beginning of the season or Arthur? Mm -hmm. Do you mean the... Them coming back to Storybrooke without memories. Memory. Yeah. Do you think it was Emma, or do you think it was Arthur behind it? Or someone else. Just give us some theories, have some fun with it. Maybe we'll, we'll mention you sometime in the future. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I enjoyed this episode. What did you guys think? Let us know. And make sure if you're a new viewer, hit that subscribe button. And give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye!